Hi, I'm Alexis, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I went from this to this. But most importantly, I'm going to share how I began to heal my mindset and my relationship with my body and with food and exercise. Because there are a million resources out there for diet, workout, generic tips, drink more water, eat more whole foods. If you have seen or been interested in any videos like manifesting your dream body, subliminals for a fat, juicy or anything like that. This is what I'm talking about. It's all about your perspective. It's all about your mindset. And this is what I'll be diving into today. So, let's do this. Okay, the number one tip I have to build a consistent, disciplined routine is to set a goal, a small goal you know you can achieve. Get into the habit of what you want to do. Go to the gym every day or every day that you've scheduled yourself. Even if your intuition and intuitively you do not feel like doing an intense workout, follow your intuition. Don't do an intense workout. It's all about just showing up. By making these small promises to yourself and keeping them by showing up, that is what builds the trust in your psychology to feel like, okay, I am a person that can do this. And believing that you are a fit person, believing that you are a person with your dream body and believing in whatever it may be is the key and the secret to law of attraction. You have to believe it. So one of the ways to trick your brain into believing it is by setting these small goals, keeping these small promises with yourself and it builds trust within yourself. This is also great if you are working on your inner child and validating yourself, which is what I'm doing. Shift your perspective. Do not look at things as a waste of time. Do not look at things as a waste of money. Of course, be smart, make good decisions. But if you mess up, it's okay. There's no such thing as time or money wasted. Only experience gained. That perspective has helped me let go of all the unnecessary guilt around making mistakes and just power through and keep making the right decisions and learning from the wrong decisions I've made because there's no such thing as failing, just lessons and blessings. Okay, I already said this, but honestly, the number one tip I have is make it fun. Pick something that you genuinely enjoy. We are human beings. We go through phases where maybe we feel very energized for a period of time, and then the opposite. We feel very lethargic, very tired, very slow. Follow your intuition, reparent yourself, have discipline, and push yourself. But as long as you are moving your body, pat yourself on the back. Just set a small goal of, I will move my body 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, two minutes a day. Work it up from there. You don't even have to put any pressure on yourself. This is all stuff you do to make yourself feel better. This is not stuff you do to look a certain way, to be a certain way. These are things you do to invest time into yourself because we love ourselves. We deserve to treat ourselves with love and to treat ourselves with the time and the energy it takes to be healthy. So just do not push yourself too hard. Consistency is so much more important. Consistency builds the trust in yourself and that is most important. More important than maxing out your weight every single time you go to the gym. Intuitively move your body listen to what it needs give it what it needs and balance that with discipline with reparenting yourself because really deep down we all kind of know what we need Formulate a why for exercising that you stand by and feel passionate about and make it from a soul desire, not an egoic desire. An egoic desire is something like, I work out because I want a six pack washboard abs or I work out because I wanna be slim thick. I wanna, I work out so somebody will think I'm attractive. Those are egoic desires. Look at the difference between those desires and soul desires. I work out because I know it's it's best for me and I know it will make me feel good. I choose to work out because I enjoy to feel good. I enjoy feeling good. I enjoy taking care of myself. Honestly, if you do any workout, the two best things I can recommend are walking and yoga. Walking and yoga. If you do anything, walk get into nature, get your body moving, walk and do some yoga. Stretch.
and especially when it comes to your diet my diet I had to focus my mindset around gratitude base your mindset your perspective in a center of gratitude and love and appreciation because that's what makes it so much so much of a lighter experience working in healthcare working in the hospitals and seeing people who struggle to feed themselves who struggle to keep meals down who struggle to eat just to live and get enough calories to survive or people who have to eat a certain diet because of certain medical conditions it kind of puts things into perspective of how lucky we are that we get to choose to eat healthy and choose to eat foods that will make us feel energized and feel good and be grateful that you have an appetite at all because there's people out there that don't who wish they did be grateful that you have food at all to eat because there's people out there who don't who wish they did and maybe you yourself have had times where you do not have food to eat and you should have you know that is something that will humble you into being very grateful for the things you have and part of that is to learn to look at it with a loving perspective to yourself it's so easy for us as human beings to take care of others but we so often neglect ourselves focus on the gratitude you have to be able to eat your favorite meals and taste and savor each bite and I mean that's another thing with COVID people have lost their taste and smell it's frightening so be grateful you can taste chocolate and be grateful you can smell coffee or whatever you enjoy and focus on being grateful that we can move our bodies in the first place So to sum it up, mindset, perspective, discipline, reparenting, make it fun. Don't be a dick to yourself. Look at your why, ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing and find a soul purpose, a soul why. Why are you doing this? Not an egoic desire. About exercise is not about changing your looks. Change your perspective and your mindset from it being about your looks and change it to feeling good. I wanna do this because I feel good when I do it because I know it's best for me because I like to look my best because I love to feel my best because I deserve to feel my best. I deserve to feel my best. I deserve to be in the best shape of my life. Not because I want to look a certain way, but because I deserve it. And I'll give myself that. And I'll work hard for that. And I'll discipline myself for that. And those that's why with your soul desires, you can work so hard. You can work your ass off and not get burnt out. If you're passionate deep down, it's hard to stay burnt out for long. If you are working your ass off for something, find a balance. Don't, you know, find a balance. I'm saying balance it with rest. So my promise to you is if you focus on monitoring your thoughts, on feeling good, on all the basics like eating whole foods, hydrating, a disciplined routine, then you will like effortlessly just manifest your dream body. You will manifest effortlessly just by living in your day-to-day -day choices how you would ideally like to live. Now, guys, if I could go back in time and talk to my younger self, these are the tips I would have given her. So if you found this video helpful today please drop a like please subscribe I grew up in a place